Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. All right now, folks, grab your tea, clutch your pearls, and strap in for another wild ride through the tumultuous world of the British monarchy. It's your favorite neighborhood critic here, and boy oh boy, do I have a juicy scoop for you today. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't subscribed, I mean common guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell asap. So now Prince Harry, our very own prodigal prince, sneaks back into dear old Blighty for his uncle's funeral, thinking he's James Bond or something. Meanwhile, back in the colonies, Megan's probably practicing her curtsy for Netflix cameras. But hold on to your fascinators, folks, because the reception they're getting is colder than a cucumber sandwich left out at a garden party. Now, I don't know about you, but I've seen my fair share of royal drama. We've had abdications, divorces, and enough scandals to fill the Tower of London. But this, this takes the Victoria sponge, doesn't it? We've got angry Britons slamming the dynamic duo with the ultimate blow of their life. It's like watching a real-life soap opera, only with better costumes and more passive-aggressive tea drinking. Let's break it down, shall we? Our dear Harry, bless his ginger heart, thought he could pop back home, pay his respects, and maybe snag a decent cup of tea while he's at it. But surprise, surprise! The welcome mat wasn't just pulled out from under him. It was set on fire and thrown into the Thames. Now, I'm not one to revel in others' misfortunes, but come on. This is juicier than the Queen's secret lemon drizzle cake recipe. The British public, known for their stiff upper lips and polite cueing, have finally had enough. They're not just mad, they're take down the Union Jack and replace it with a no sussexes allowed sign mad. But wait, it gets better. While Harry's playing hide and seek with the paparazzi, a new poll drops that's more devastating than finding out there's no more jammy dodgers in the biscuit tin. Out of 12 royal family members, guess where our dynamic duo landed? 10th and 11th. That's right, folks. They're about as popular as rain at a cricket match. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the delicious irony here. Harry and Meghan, who left the royal family faster than you can say makes it, claiming they wanted privacy and freedom from the spotlight, are now less popular than some royals whose names most people can't even remember. It's like leaving a Michelin star restaurant. But here's the real kicker, folks. While Harry's sneaking around Norfolk, like he's in a low-budget spy movie, Megan's back in California, probably wondering why her invitation to the Met Gala got lost in the post. Again, it's like they're living in two different worlds, and neither of them is particularly rosy right now. Let's talk about that poll for a moment, shall we? Because it's not just bad, it's catastrophic. It's the kind of result that makes you want to hide under the dovet with a tube of Pringles and pretend the outside world doesn't exist. Harry and Meghan aren't just unpopular, they're less popular than some royals who probably couldn't get recognized in their own local Tesco. And you know what the worst part is? They did this to themselves. It's like they took the golden ticket of royal life, the privilege, the platform, the free gin, and traded it all for a Netflix deal and a chicken coop. Now don't get me wrong, I'm sure those are some very happy chickens. But was it worth it? Was it worth becoming the royal equivalent of that relative no one wants to sit next to at Christmas dinner? But let's be fair for a moment. It can't be easy, can it? Being a royal, I mean. It's all fun and games when you're cutting ribbons and waving from balconies, but the pressure must be enormous. The scrutiny, the expectations, the constant need to look perfect while eating a banana in public. 
it's enough to drive anyone a bit batty. And Harry and Meghan, bless their hearts, they thought they could have their cake and eat it too. They wanted the perks of royal life without the responsibility, the fame without the duty, the crown without the weight. But that's not how it works, is it? You can't just dip your toe in the royal pond. You're either in or you're out. Now, I'm not saying they don't have legitimate grievances. The British press can be brutal. We all know that. And racism? Well, that's never okay full stop. But the way they've gone about addressing these issues, it's like trying to put out a fire with a flamethrower. They've alienated the family, angered the public, and for what? A few headline-grabbing interviews, a book that's more explosive than Guy Fawkes' Night. It's all very well to speak your truth, but when your truth involves throwing your entire family into the royal carriage, maybe it's time to take a step back and ask yourself if it's really worth it. And now, with this latest poll, it seems the British public has given their answer. It's a resounding no, thank you very much, please take your drama elsewhere. It's like the entire country has collectively decided to put Harry and Meghan on mute. Can you imagine? The ultimate British snub. But here's the thing, my dear viewers. This isn't just about Harry and Meghan anymore. This is about the future of the monarchy itself. Because let's face it, the royal family isn't just a family. It's an institution. It's the living, breathing embodiment of British history and tradition. And when you start chipping away at that foundation, well, you're playing a very dangerous game indeed. William and Kate seem to understand this. They're out there, doing the work, keeping calm and carrying on. They're like the reliable old teapot that always makes a perfect brew. Maybe not as exciting as a shiny new American coffee machine, but by George, they get the job done, and the public appreciates that. They appreciate the stability, the consistency, the sense that no matter what chaos is happening in the world, you can always count on seeing William and Kate opening a new hospital wing or chatting with pensioners at a garden party. But Harry and Meghan? They're like a fireworks display. Exciting, yes. Dramatic, absolutely but ultimately fleeting and leaving behind a faint smell of smoke and a ringing in your ears. So what's next for our royal rebels? Will they stage a dramatic comeback, winning over the British public with their charm and Hollywood glamour? Or will they fade into obscurity, remembered only as a cautionary tale in the annals of royal history? One thing's for sure, my friends. This royal drama is far from over. It's got more twists and turns than a palace hedge maze, and I, for one, will be here for every juicy moment. Because let's face it, as much as we Brits love to complain about the monarchy, we love a bit of royal drama even more. It's like our national soap opera, only with better hats and more corgis. And Harry and Meghan. Well, they've given us enough material to last until Prince George is old enough to start his own scandalous chapter. So, to Harry and Meghan, I say this. You want it out? Well, congrats. You've got your wish. The British public has spoken, and they've said, go away and never come back. With all the politeness and restraint of a nation raised on passive-aggressive tea drinking. But don't worry, my dear viewers. Even if Harry and Meghan ride off into the Californian sunset, never to grace our shores again, we'll always have the memories. The weddings, the scandals, the Oprah interviews. It's been a wild ride, hasn't it? And who knows? Maybe in a few years, we'll all look back on this and laugh. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll still be tutting into our tea and muttering about that American actress and poor misguided Harry. Only time will tell, but one thing's for certain, my friends, the monarchy will endure. It's survived wars, scandals, and even the occasional beheading. A bit of family drama? 
That's just a Tuesday afternoon at Buckingham Palace. So let's raise a cup of tea, or something stronger, if you prefer, to the royal family, to the drama, the duty, the pomp, and the circumstance. Because at the end of the day, isn't that what being British is all about? Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.